Hello everyone and welcome to yet another playoff broadcast here on the San Diego Padres radio network. We are broadcasting live from Petco Park in San Diego, California. Game number four is upon us and once again the Padres face a familiar setting. A must win game with their backs against the wall facing elimination they must win tonight. If they do not the Nationals will move on to the NLCS with the 3-1 series victory, and the Padres' season will conclude. So, they will send Ian Kennedy to the mound. Meanwhile, the Nationals will send Doug Fister to the mounds in this do-or-die battle for the Padres here in the 2015 NLDS. Here are the lineups for your Padres and the Nationals. Escobar, Myers, Kemp, Upton, Middlebrooks, Alonzo, Norris, Jed Jerko, and Ian Kennedy who is 12 and 7 on the year with a 3.15 ERA and 170 strikeouts. He has to be big tonight for the Padres. Second batter of the game, Ian Desmond coming up to the plate. 2-2 pitch to him. Kennedy delivers and that is hit deep into left. Upton looks up and it is gone. A solo shot from the second batter of the game, Ian Desmond goes deep to left, and just like that, the Padres are down 1-0 here in the first inning, not the start they wanted, as Ian Kennedy will not get out of the inning. Alcides Escobar fields it at short, overthrows to first, should have maybe went to second for the easy up, but he goes the long way, and that goes in the stands, and now there's runners on second and third. For Wilson Ramos, but he is patient and he takes the walk, so the bases are loaded. Kennedy in a jam. Brian Dozier up to bat. He hits this one into center. Will Myers is there. He should make the catch, and he will. So one run surrendered there in the first. Ian Kennedy almost surrendered more, but he gets out of it. And here comes Doug Fister, 13 and 8 on the season, with a 2.62 ERA and 143 strikeouts. Will Myers up to bat with one out. And the 1 2 pitch is inside, but Myers chases and he is down on strikes. Next batter, Matt Kemp. 1 2 pitch to him. Fister delivers. Kemp breaks his bat and Fister will make the catch. So that will be it for the inning. Second inning now. Runner on first for Ian Desmond already back up to the plate. And Kennedy not looking too sharp early on. He misses his location. And now there's runners on first and second for Eric Hosmer. 3 run pitch is low and outside. Another walk issued from Kennedy. And now the bases are loaded again for the second consecutive inning. And who comes up next? Bryce Harper, full count to him, is hit down the left field line. That ball is fair. And that's going to be two runs for the Nationals as Bryce Harper comes up big with a two-run single here in the second. And it is 3-0 Nationals. Bryce Harper delivering that huge hit. And the Padres are in a jam. Runners on the corners now. But... Kennedy will get out of the inning. So, a lot of damage done, and they are down 3-0, and they need to get some runs quickly. Will Middlebrooks up to bat in the second, and the 1-2 pitch is a low curveball, which he falls for, and Fister has another strikeout. Yonder Alonso up to bat in the second. No one on, two outs, and he swings at the 0-2 pitch, and that's going to do it for the inning. So, Yonder Alonso... Nothing going there, and it's still 3-0 Nationals. Ian Kennedy's night is over. The Padres are bringing in Nick Vincent, who probably didn't expect to come in this game as early as he is. And Wilson Ramos taking this deep into right center. That will fall. It will go over the walls. So that is a ground rule double for Wilson Ramos as the Nationals continue to pound on the Padres. Michael Taylor, he's down on strikes. Nick Vincent trying to get out of this inning with no runs allowed. Runner on second for Doug Fister, and he is going to swing and miss, and that is a strikeout. So that's it for that inning. Austin Hedges coming in as a pinch hitter as Nick Vincent's night is over for relief, and Hedges will wait on the 3-2 pitch. It is low, and the rookie shows some patience, and he will move to first on the walk. Fister not happy with himself. Later in the at-bat, Escobar up to bat. And Hedges is going to get gunned down at second with the excellent throw from Wilson Ramos. It's still 3-0 here at Petco Park. We'll be right back. Back at the ballpark here, Dale Thayer coming in for the Padres in relief. 
This is their third pitcher so far tonight. Is a 27 ERA, not looking good. And that is a base hit down the left field line. And the Nationals continue to have so much success against this Padres pitching staff as Ryan Zimmerman gets a hit. 2-2 pitch now to Wilson Ramos. He's taking that into left. That will fall. Upton will have a throw or strong throw home. And that will keep all three runners on the bases. So the bases are loaded. Brian Dozier up to the plate. 3-2 pitch is low and away. And Dozier just swung at ball four. Dale Thayer almost walked in a run, but he got lucky. 1-2 pitch to Taylor, and he strikes out. So, can we get out of the inning? Thayer delivers, and that is hit over to first. Alonzo makes the catch. He runs over to first, steps on the bag, and Dale Thayer gets out of the inning. No runs surrendered, and it is still 3-0. We're bringing in Tommy Medica, who had some success last game. We're in the six. Base is empty, one out. Medica hits this one deep into center. Gwyn Jr.'s going back. He looks up, track, wall. He can't make the catch. Medica will reach second. He's going for third. Taylor throws it into the cutoff man, and Tommy Medica has a one-out triple here in the sixth inning. Just what we needed. Escobar up to bat. Next batter, he's hitting that one up the middle. Dozier makes the stop, but he can't catch the speedy Escobar. And the Padres have their first run of the night. So it's 3-1 Nationals here in the seventh. As Will Middlebrooks will come up to bat with a runner on first. And he takes that one into right. And Bryce Harper is going to make the catch. So unfortunately, Will Middlebrooks can't um, hit that one far enough. That possibly could have scored a run, but nevertheless, we are on, and now Yonder Alonso is striking out. Eighth inning now, Jed Jerko up to the plate, and he is swinging and missing on that changeup. And the struggles continue for the Padres, and the success continues for Doug Fister. Bringing a pinch hitter here in the bottom of the eighth, as Benjenberg is hitting this one up the middle, and that will be a base hit for the Padres. So... Not too much to cheer about here tonight for the fans at Petco, but they get a base runner there. Escobar trying to do something, and he's just going to ground out here to Brian Dozier. And that will do it for the inning. Top of the ninth, we're bringing in Craig Kimbrell. It won't be a save opportunity, but he cannot allow any more runs for the Padres to have some hopes. So here comes Bryce Harper, 2 for 3 on the night. 1-1 one, one pitch from Kimbrell. He deals. Harper hits this one deep into left center. Upton goes back. He looks up, and that ball is gone. Bryce Harper with the ninth inning solo shot gives the Nationals the three-run lead once again. Kimbrell gives up a home run, and that just shows you how well the Nationals have done their homework and how well they're just pounding on this Padres pitching staff. Kimbrell will get out of the inning with the strikeout to Wilson Ramos, but we will head to the bottom of the ninth. The Padres need three runs, and here comes Will Myers. First batter, 3-1 pitch from Fister is hammered into left. Myers may have something here, but it dies down quickly, and Michael Taylor makes the catch at the warning track. So one out down here in the ninth. Matt Kemp next batter, 0 for 3 so far today. And here's the 1-1 pitch from Fister. He deals, and Kemp hits this one into center. It's a pretty deep part of the park, and it will keep it in as Tony Gwynn Jr. will make the catch. So we're down to the final outs. It looks unlikely that the Padres will win as they will send Justin Upton to the plate. And here's the thing. The Padres had a good season. No matter what happens in the playoffs, which looks like a defeat, the Padres have a good season. Here's a base hit from Upton. They had some ups. They had some downs, mostly ups, until the playoffs as Will Middlebrooks comes to the plates, and it looks like the season is over for the Padres. Fans here at Petco are still standing as Middlebrooks hits it, Fister has it, throws over to first, and the Nationals are headed to the National League Championship Series. They defeat the San Diego Padres in four games, and will move on tomorrow. So, that's it. The season is over for the Padres, but they should be very proud of themselves. They have brought this team back to the playoffs for the first time in a long time. These fans have a pretty good future. The offseason is uncertain. We may not know what will happen. Most likely, a little bit of a change to the pitching rotation. But um, you know what? This is a big lesson for the Padres. They had a good season. 
They didn't have home field advantage, but they just got stopped by some pretty good pitching. Doug Fister went the full game, only allowed five hits, and led his team to victory. And that's it. Fans here at Petco still standing, still waiting for their team to leave one last time. And from everyone here at the San Diego Padres Radio Network, we will see you next season.